exactly what went wrong. It makes me think if we ever had a chance in the first place. All you have to do is create doubt. You don't have to convince people that you're right. This is our campaign. This is about our lives. It's about the lives of people that we care about. It's about our family and our friends, our neighbors and our co-workers. It's about all of us having the freedom to marry. As Maine goes, so goes the nation. We did everything we could, you know, and we put all, all hands on deck. But at the end of the day, these people deserve to get married, and I couldn't get it done for them. Woman. We need some backbone. I don't have to tell anyone that we've never won at the ballot box in any state before, and we here in Maine are going to be the first state right. to win. Yeah. Yeah. One more time, shout it with me. Let God arise and our enemies be scattered. God bless you tonight. If you don't stand up for what you believe in and you don't stand up for what God's Word says, then. Why bother? All eyes in the nation are on Maine right now. And I'm a volunteer with the No On One campaign. I'm calling on behalf of the Stand For Marriage campaign. This is the civil rights issue of the 21st century. I've been with Steve for over 33 years and I feel it's about time people in my state recognize our relationship. God's word says that marriage is between one man and one woman. He didn't say it was all going to be easy. <laughs> That's for sure. Listen to me closely. No one is stopping gay people from getting married. If there is a person who wants to go out and get married, they can do that. That's not what gay right. people want. They want to change the definition of marriage to, to suit, suit their, their relationship. Yeah. If marriage is between marriage is a man and a them. woman, they just need to marry the opposite. So you marriage said, is between a man and a woman. Do you think that a straight woman should marry a gay man, and a gay man should if marry? If marriage a... is in fact what she wants, then yes. In Maine today, voters cast their ballot to decide whether or not to uphold a law that was signed in May allowing gay couples to legally wed. Joining me right now live is Mark Muddy, the chairman of the Stand for Marriage Maine campaign. What are your thoughts now? It's a dead heat. I fear that I'll be remembered for the work I did on this campaign. We look for victory tonight, don't we? I just want to be remembered as a guy who's trying to do a good job and trying to do his job and do the best he can under, I think, very trying circumstances. And sort of asking for forgiveness for the ways in which I may have betrayed my own self in this endeavor. We'd all been through a war together. Sometimes you have to lose more than one battle to learn how to win. Even a year ago, I don't think it was on our radar that we would be allowed to be married. I'd sort of resigned myself to the second class citizen status and figured that would be our status for most of my life. It's like having that rug pulled out from underneath your feet. It's like knowing that there's this feast, but then you can't join it. This has been a fucking son of a bitch. This has been awful. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. They're fooling themselves if they think that the momentum is now in their favor. They're wrong. They're absolutely wrong. I can't say I'm sorry you la lost. Um, I'm, I, I'm not. I'm very pleased that they didn't win. And that does that make me a horrible person? I let myself for that morning on Tuesday morning when I woke up and walked out this door, I really thought I was heading into a day that was going to change change our state and the country forever. I really thought we were about to do it and 
you know, it just came crashing down on Tuesday night. All we can hope for is that people heal, that I heal, that we all heal. There was this campaign in Maine where we did impo almost impossible things. And no, we didn't win, but we almost did. And that means that we will win. You know, it means we will win someday soon. Victory! Victory.